It seems that Kourtney Kardashian is caught in a love triangle, and Scott Disick just made things incredibly awkward between him and Travis Barker. And I'm going to be giving you all the juicy details in this video. So as we know, Kourtney is very publicly dating Travis Barker, and they are known for their excessive PDA that's often captured by the paparazzi. Currently, the pair are on a trip in Italy, and they look to be having an amazing time. But it looks like Scott Disick is not, because he just shaded Kourtney and Travis's relationship to none other than Eunice Benjima, another one of Kourtney's ex-boyfriends. In the leaked DMs that were put online, by Eunice, Scott shared a picture of Courtney and Travis making out, along with the message, quote, Yo, is this chick okay? Bro, like, what is this? In the middle of Italy. Clearly trying to initiate a conversation where they both talk trash about Courtney. But to everyone's surprise, even though it seems that Courtney and Eunice ended things pretty badly, Eunice did not trash talk Courtney, and he responded, quote, Doesn't matter to me as long as she's happy. P.S. I ain't your bro. When Eunice shared the screenshot, he included another message for Scott, writing, quote, Keep the same energy you had about me publicly, privately. This is most likely referencing all the trash talking that the Kardashians have said against Eunice, specifically Scott. In the Keeping Up With The Kardashians reunion, when Scott was asked about Courtney's ex-boyfriends, Scott said, quote, I just want to kill them. Then added an apparent reference to Eunice, saying, quote, well, the last guy, let's be honest here. This led Chloe to respond, quote, nobody was happy with the last one. So very, very shady against Eunice. We all knew who they were talking about. For some more background on Eunice and Courtney, the pair dated on and off between 2016 and 2018. And over the course of their relationship, the Kardashians made their thoughts against him clear. One of his feuds with the Kardashians happened when he was caught on a beach getting cozy with a woman right after one of his splits from Courtney. Kim commented on Instagram, quote, nice pick from your boys trip. Then another time, Chloe made her like for him clear, tweeting quote, he was so toxic and negative for court. Again, we all know she was talking about Eunice. It seems that Courtney has somewhat responded to all this drama, and on her Instagram story the day after everything was leaked, she shared an article from her lifestyle website Poosh, alongside the caption quote, how to get over someone who treated you badly. The article details how to get over a toxic breakup and heal yourself for your next partner, urging readers to move on from people who treat you badly. Many think this could be a dig to Scott, as many critics have called their relationship over the years toxic. And I would definitely agree with that. When asked if he and Courtney would ever get back together, Scott said, quote, Courtney needs certain things that I haven't been able to provide her. And perhaps we both need to realize that we won't be together and maybe move on completely. He said this in a Keeping Up with the Kardashians confessional. But it seems that Scott has not moved on and is still very much invested into her relationships. And to be honest, this whole thing is just very embarrassing. Like the Kardashians have done so much for Scott over the years and he goes and betrays Courtney like this, dissing her to her most hated ex-boyfriend. I wonder how Amelia Hamlin, his current girlfriend, feels about all of this. I'm sure it is not good. Can you imagine your current boyfriend shading his ex and the mother of his children to her ex-boyfriend? Like, it's so messy. <laughs> but please make sure to leave your thoughts on all of this below. It is so messy. There's so much going on. It's just, ugh, Scott, what are you doing? That's all for the video. Make sure to like and sub if you're new here and you want to see more. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.